Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. I am. Oh, Missourians. Thank That's you. your people, Gage. Yeah, our people, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. May 18th, 2023, we're fixing to head down and do some riding in the Ozarks again. We've got a fun few days planned for the Max Pines, Moccasin Gap area yet again. We just can't get enough of it, um, so stay tuned. We've got a new machine, actually a different machine, not a new machine. This machine's been in our videos before. It is the Kodiak 700. It's back in action. Actually, it never died. We just haven't been bringing it. Um, the reason we're bringing it is a buddy is coming with us, a uh, special guest rider. So he's going to be riding the Kodiak 700. He's been wanting to come for a while. So look forward to having him with us. His name is Gage and uh, me and Josh. So Matt's skipping out this time. He's got other things he's got to do. He wishes he was with us, but uh, Can-Am 1000 will not be in the next few videos. It's going to be Kodiak 700, Can-Am Outlander 850, the beast, the one that's been beaten and abused, and then, of course, my Brute Force 750, and yes, I actually cleaned it this time. And you know what's crazy about this thing? I actually put new wheels on it and took them right back off because I did not like the way the wheels stuck out past the wheel wells with those aftermarket wheels. So I took them right back off. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I ended up finding some nice steel caps. So that was my whole issue with the wheels. I would have never changed the wheels in the first place if I'd have found these to begin with. But these are not the dust caps that come on the Brute Force 750. They come with plastic dust caps. And every time we get in rocky terrain those things just bust off and they're 25 bucks a piece i found these steel ones and they absolutely seem to be holding really well um i don't think i'm gonna have any issues ever again so yeah stay tuned lots of fun new trails just tons of new trails on these next few videos so hope you guys enjoy all right at the loves in Cersei. we pretty much stop here every time Fueling up the machines, 91 octane. Yeah, we gotta keep going on that gauge. It'll take a little bit more. When you shake it, it'll keep going down in there. But uh, got the Kodiak fueled up, 91 octane in all three, just keep it simple. These two have tuners, so they have to have 91 octane. That one doesn't necessarily have to, but it is what it is. Yeah, is that bad about it? Yep. Okay, cool, cool. All right, here we go. Time to fill up the big boy. And Josh clean our windshield for us. What a great guy. You got a gauge? Sure. All right, all right. Fix and go in there and get me a snack. There we go. $47.97. 13.5 gallons. Fill up all three machines. So, and how much did I put in my truck? Ah, uh, just 12 gallons. All right, we gotta go in here. There we go. Is that is that your go-to gauge? That's my go-to. Oh, go -to go -to oh the summer edition. Ooh. Mm. Let's see. What does Josh want? What does Josh drink on a ride down to the trails? I gotta fi I gotta figure out what I want. That's the thing. Ooh, ooh, right here. Josh, our troop here, man. Get you a Barks. Look at that one. Dude, check it out. That's an old one. See how the, the kegs are kind of yellowed? You seeing that? That's weird, dude. Well, I don't know what to get. I think I'm going to keep it simple, Josh. 
I think we're going to go with the M&Ms. Do they have a smaller size? I don't need that many. Here we go. Oh, two for two fifty. Well, I guess I will get two then. Let's see. I'll just get two of the same. What difference does it make? All right. So we are expecting rain tomorrow, and I couldn't find my frog togs. So we came on down uh, to Little Rock, south of Little Rock here, to the big Bass Pro Shops, and yes, let the people at home see. We love Bass Pro Shops, don't we, Josh? Yes, sir. All but the prices, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyways, I ended up getting these Columbia, this Columbia jacket. It's like a Columbia set. Um, I tried on just about everything they had. These were a little pricey. Let's see, how much were these? So these were 75 bucks for the jacket. And then I also ended up getting the pants that are black and these were kind of pricey too but I just didn't want to buy something that I regretted you know um, these are 60 for the pants so but they they felt really good out of everything I tried on this jacket and these pants felt the best so um, hopefully buy it once and be done with it anyway so we're gonna get some dinner now our favorite place to get dinner the night before we ride Chewy's in Little Rock, right next to the Hideaway Pizza. This place is awesome. All right, so this is what I get every time. Frozen strawberry margarita. We got the uh, we got the Chewy's Ranch, the salsa, queso, good stuff. Mmm. So good. The steak in here. This steak right here is amazing. So good. Friday morning. There's our David's Burgers in Conway. We love it. We love it. But Seven Brew. Oh man, look at that line. Dang. Wow. Safety first. Safety first, right? So we are on I 40 fixing to hit Russellville. We got our guest rider in the back, Gage. And uh, Gage is experiencing the seven brew for the first time. What'd you think, Gage? Pretty good? Not too bad. Not no. too bad, he I likes it. Again. Yeah, he go again, wow. And Josh got his, his got, Josh got his usual. What is that again? It's an iced hazelnut latte. Iced hazelnut latte. And so, me and Gage, we both got the Ocean Breeze from Seven Brew. These are great. Um, so today we're going to do some more crazy stuff. Uh, we're going to park at Mox and Gap this time, but we are actually going to do uh, a new loop of trails that Bobby Bullet Lewis sent me. Uh, he sent me this loop, right? Now he's telling me that, and I will quote what he said, 90% of this loop is trails. I'm having a hard time believing that, judging by the map, but we're going to give her a shot. Um, Bobby Bullet Lewis has never let me down before, so we're calling it the Bobby Bullet Lewis Loop, the BBLL. That's what we're calling it, the BBLL. Josh thinks it's funny. <laughs> um, anyways, we're going to try this loop. He says it's really good, um, and I'm sure the trails are good. Uh, says there's some technical stuff. Um, I was looking at my map, but I'm seeing some waterfalls pretty close, so I'm hoping to hit some waterfalls today, uh, which we haven't had rain in, like, what, a week or two? About a week or so, so they might not be doing too good, but we are getting rain tonight. Hopefully, we won't get rained on this afternoon. I'm showing two different forecasts, one at three, one at six coming in. Um, this front is moving in, so it's bringing in drier air, and uh, which is going to make tomorrow just awesome because it's going to be, like, enough rain to hopefully kill out a lot of the dust but up the creek levels and make the waterfalls really nice that's another that's a tip i'll give you if you really want to see some of these waterfalls flowing good go right after it rains like the day after it rains they are incredible they really look good in the ozarks um, but anyways we are getting pretty close to roseville we got to stop at harps get some ice 
couple snacks and we'll be on the trails shortly. Oh, Stinky Feet Hotel. We won't stay there anymore. You know, Josh, is it fair to say that it's we're like one and done situation, right? Correct. You have one chance with us and then you're cut off, right? First impressions are everything. First impressions are everything and unfortunately courtyard by marriott that's that's one we've got another one coming up here <laughs> that uh our first impression wasn't too good here's the butcher boy burgers place coming up our favorite place coming up really yeah. oh god <laughs> <laughs> hey what do you got right there oh just some uh essentials some pills so yeah. when you get when you when you get above 30 years in age these are wonderful when you're riding on the trails all day long you gotta have them what time is it nine o'clock nine o'clock one oh josh sees one truck max pines okay so here's the overflow parking camping not a soul what is up with this people don't get up early anymore holy cow there's nobody there it's crazy. Oh, there's a couple side by sides. Uh, let's see, camping, camping. There's a few RVs there. You know, it's not like packed like it has been though. Now we're gonna go on up to Moccasin here. Let's see if we can't park up here like we usually do. Pulling into Moccasin Gap. Anybody camping up here? Casey ATV, where you at, man? I don't see you. Doggone it. We were gonna we were gonna hit you up, KC. Maybe next time. Let's see if anybody's down here at uh, Moxie Gap parking lot. We got. Let's see. It's a little after nine o'clock. Do not enter. Nobody parking here as usual. No one ever parks up here, man. It's crazy. Oh well. All right. Time to get loaded up. You get it? All right. So I got my rain gear that I bought yesterday at Bass Pro in my helmet. Helmet uh, case storage thing, whatever bag, helmet bag. DJI drone, extra batteries, cables, all the essentials. She'll fit. She'll fit. We're fixing to take off here. All right. Say hi to YouTube, Gage. Hey, what's up? All right. Trail King, you ready? What's up, y'all? <laughs> We're fixing the hammer down. We're at Mox and Gap right now. You ready, Josh? Ready. All right, man. We're going to go down the highway. My route has changed just a little bit uh, since last night. So, we got to go down the highway just a hair. It is humid as sin today, but tomorrow it's supposed to be really nice. Um, when we're moving though, it feels great. For those on YouTube, Josh had a really bad experience on this trail one time. Really, really bad experience. We don't have to get into details though. Josh had a really bad experience here. The guy who was coming with us really ended him. Um, it was not fun, but Josh jammed the brakes right here, and I guess he wasn't paying attention, and he just smoked that can am. Crazy. This is where it happened though. Josh was laying down in a mud hole. I come around the corner, first, first instinct was to pull out my phone and take a picture. <laughs> then I was worried about their health. <laughs> You can, you can see why I jammed the brake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not hitting that at 30 miles an hour. He no. Should have, not, he should have had enough room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not trying to get up all up on the, the next bike. No, it looks like it rained up here. You see the moisture on the roads and stuff? I do. It's crazy. Yeah, so this is a pretty good trail. Um, it's not bad. It's kind of one of those high-speed trails. There's not, if I recall, there's not a whole lot of technical on this trail at all. Now remember, Josh, you don't have to hammer down 
but you can go pretty fast if you want. Yeah, I can help with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Can you just go ahead. Me and Gage will be back here. We'll try to keep up. I'm not going out there. No, you're not. You're going good speed up now. I like it. What are we doing? 25, 30? I like it. This is what I was doing the day I got rid of Yeah, this is the speed you were doing. Yep. That's true. Hairpin. Hairpin? <laughs> Yeah, these, uh, this audio system is so nice. Isn't it awesome, dude? Yeah, we are like, even heads up, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. Exactly. That's why we have it. Yeah, um, we stopped. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll reattach that speaker for you, Gage. It shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, yeah. It's probably just slightly unplugged. Yeah. Actually, it's weird. That's weird because I'm pretty sure I taped it up. So, I don't know. That's a rocky set. He's a little rock. You got a rocky section? Oh, I see oh, it. The rock. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, I'm hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know how much clearance this thing has. Oh, you're good. You're good, good. Oh, oh, yeah, trust me. Yo, if you see a big one, that's the one you gotta worry about. No, you're oh, good. Yeah. You haven't even come close yet. Okay. Hello. Oh yeah, I'm on. Go through it, good, Josh. Go ahead. Flare ups. Flare ups happening, Matthew. This one's for you. Oh, you barely made it. Look at that. <laughs> I hope you're in four wheel drive, Josh. Looks like you barely made it, man. <laughs> the flare ups are real, uh, folks. You know, you know how I feel about bloody water. <laughs> uh, two of them. Yeah. Down there. Yep. Dude, we're going to have to follow those circles. Three of them. Three of them. Are we following them? Hey. Are we Three following them? them? Get right up on them, dude. That's impressive. This would have been a perfect spot for us to go around them. Yes, exactly. Maybe there'll be another. You go ahead, Gage. Okay. Maybe there'll be another spot. It's pretty cool that you drive this, ain't it, Gage? Yeah. Oh, oh, they're, they're, they're stopping. Stop they know. Go, go, go. Go, they're Josh. Go, go, go. I am. Oh, Missourians. Thank it's you. your people, Gage. Yeah, our people, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good folks. Good folks. Very cool. They're having yeah. a good time. The, the Arkansas folks would have just stayed in a constant. No. Just no, that's the side, oh, that's yeah. side by side people, man. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They like to they like to clog those trails. It's a yeah, pretty so pretty trail, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Bitch. Yeah, I can't believe they uh, sit down that. That's crazy, crazy, isn't it? Man, you should see the trail that they uh, that we followed one down gauge. You wouldn't believe it. They were crazy. No. It was crazy. this episode right now. Right, but, you know, Bentley thinks that's his four-wheeler, but we know it's not. <laughs> shake, shake your head yes, Bentley, as you're watching this episode. <laughs> they just riding daddy's four-wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put the example of how you got to ride this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So 
was that, like an FJ Cruiser? And then what else? Yeah. I well, knew there was a forerunner. Four 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 yeah, forerunner. And I don't, I wouldn't paint a good one. Two FJs. Oh, oh, okay, the front one was an FJ as well? Yeah. That's cool, man. can slide and yours will do it way worse because you got way less weight. So you just got to keep moving. Worst thing you can do is stop. Yeah. I I'm, I'm going to wait for you too, Gage. Okay. Take your time, man. Yeah, I'm here. Steepness. 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 What's our word of the day, Josh? Treacherousness. Oh. Yes, yeah, treacherous. Treacherousness. I figured it's a lot. Hey, do we have a poll that we could put in the comment section, Josh? Poll, poll uh, of the day? Poll, the, poll, of the, poll of the video. Uh, preference. Preference. Side by side or uh, Well, I think if they're watching the channel, they're not exactly in the side by side. <laughs> I mean, I guess yeah, they could be. I yeah, guess they could be. It's a fixed poll, then. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, true. Let's see. Oh, ooh, I got one for you. I got one for you. Yeah, yeah. How about... What's your favorite trail system in Arkansas? That's a good one. Ooh. So you got Buckhorn, Mill Creek, Mount Magazine. Gar That's right. Garbage Wolf, Pingab, to the right. Yeah. To the right. 
Uh, what else do we have in Arkansas? Obviously, Brock Creek, Box and Gap. What's your favorite trail system? Comment below. Like and subscribe. We love to bring you folks the most wonderful content of the Ozarks. This, I bet it was, man, it was, it was deep. That's my you think you cry, hey, Gage, look, turn around yeah. and watch me go through this. You think you're dirt bike go through this? See how deep I'm getting? Yeah. Do you think you can oh. do that? It'd be kind of sketchy. My tail, my tail yeah, quiet. yeah. But dirt bike, I don't know. It'd be kind of sketchy, wouldn't it? Yeah. All these rocks would be kind of crappy, wouldn't it? I'd be both. Yeah. The rocks I can do. Yeah, okay, okay. It, it would be annoying though on the dirt bike. You'd be getting kicked around and bumped all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're pretty sure it'd be in the bed. I bet, I bet. Not fun. Thank you, Quad, for your... Thank you, dirt bike. Go through that, Gage. Not the dirt bike. Not the dirt bike. Uh -huh. You can imagine uh, having a drop-off on the dirt bike. Yeah, that would suck. Oh, water, not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you think I was supposed to do that at St. John, your dad bike? Oh, yeah, we went right to a pond. He went all the way underwater. Did he really? 
Yep. Yeah. Did, did he ride it out? No. Nope. He wanted the bike, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Had yeah. to tear it apart, pump it out. Oh, man. Tanks is having the same. All the fields got water. And yeah. I hydro locked it, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Man, that sucks. Oh, there's my. Right. Oh. Here's another little. That trail back there showed dead end. Yeah, it's a cool little bridge, ain't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I got wet. Josh, you gonna lead us up this baby? Can we do low? Yeah, low four wheel drive is what I'm going in. Low four? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. you wanna tell me how I... Okay, so, um, low and then, it actually should show you on the screen if you're locked in or not. Yeah, see, now you're in four wheel drive. Okay. Now you're out of four wheel drive. Okay. So okay. if you see all four wheels on there, you're still in four wheel drive. Okay. The other thing you don't wanna do, is you don't wanna like, Run highway speed fast and full drive. I mean, you can, but it's just, it's a waste of, not, not it's, a, it's, a, it's a waste of gas, you know. Yeah. All right, Josh, have it down, man. Nice. Over that. Oh, were you unhooked? Yeah, the supercar disconnected. Uh, now it's back. Push your cord button, man. All right. All right. Gage, I'll follow you up. Yeah, when you flip that, it goes to diff lock. So you can't turn, but man, it locks oh, man. That's for like, Mud. If you're only going straight and in the mud, yeah. Okay. Nope. Don't take it. Don't take it too slow. There you go. Doing fine. Perfect. Doing fine. Right. Yeah. Anything more amateur? Oh, that's these stuff. Yeah, this ain't nothing. Yeah, as I recall, there's just a couple sketchy spots on this trail. We've been on this once, Josh. Yep. Yep, doing good, Gage. I'm going back to two wheel drive. Okay. Probably go back to the high. Here's a little rut flow gear four wheel again. Oh, Lace needs to stick here. Yeah, I'm going long four here. Just straddle it. Ooh. Take it easy. Nice and easy. since the last time we came here. Don't come 
Get, don't come in reverse. I'm gonna walk up behind you here. Okay. Look at it. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Oh yeah, bud. All right, Gage. I'm gonna. Okay. I'll get up here. I'd say follow his tracks, man. Yeah. Just do what feels natural to you. There you go. Hammer. Yep. Nice. Nice. Well done. All right, I'm coming. No. And. I should have hit it with a little more speed. No, I'd be fine. I just, I think I would, I think this. last time we come through here. Hit them rocks, you'll be good. Perfect, dude. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. All right, better. I'm gonna go get my rig.
I got a hammer down through this portion gauge. So this okay. portion right here where it's slim, this is where if you stop, it's not going to be fun. Yeah. Actually, I might, I might actually hang a rod right here. Yeah, I think I'll hey, be right. How is it? Hey, stop right there. Unless you can't. Unless you can't. Right there, I can stop. Right behind where I could drop off of that look doable to you or no? We can make the chicken exit and uh... Ooh. I don't think I'll do it. You might could do it, Gage. I don't know. Let me let me get up here real quick, Gage. Okay. So you just gotta hammer down. You stop! Okay. You stop! It's gonna be bad. Let me get up here behind Josh. I'll come back there and see what I can do for you. Pull up just a little bit, Josh. Now get straight with it. And get straight. Or right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. And don't, don't, and don't go slow. There you go. Yep. You got it, you got it, you got it. Yep. yep. Nice, Gage. Do I need to take it out of form? Um, just whenever you feel comfortable. Okay, I might take it out. Yeah, right now, I just got out of four. I just don't see the need in it right here. There's another rut. Oh, no, we're good. I'm still in low gear though. I am too, I think. Yep. Yep. It's going to open up, but I think you're going to hang a left, Josh, here a minute. Gotcha. And we'll be on new trails here. 